Sullivan is director of research at uh, Relegare Capital Markets Singapore and joins us from the SG X. And Gordon, thank you for joining us on the uh, show today. You know, after uh, you know, with the, with the benefit of hindsight, do you think that the attacks that were mounted on Noble were they unfair? Were they uncalled for? Or was it Noble's fault for not reacting in a timely, proactive? Of manner, were they late to the game and just slow to react, and was it basically their fault when it came down to it? Well, iceberg raised some serious concerns, but the concerns are already in the price. The precipitous fall in Noble's stock price is an opportunity for investors to invest in a commodity trader that is trading at a massive discount to its book value. We see considerable upside at these levels because Noble is one of the leading commodity traders in the world. You don't think that they're, you're not worried at all that uh, they're going to have debt problems which are unsolvable, that are unsalvageable? I mean, you look at the stock price, uh, look at their credit uh, situation uh, right now, the massive financing costs associated with their unsecured uh, uh, lending. I mean, don't you, it doesn't, it's, it's going to take them a long, long time to really fix their, their balance, their, 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 their capital balance sheet, isn't it? Well, they have sufficient cash flow generation to meet those obligations. The significant change that has taken place over the last year is that Noble's debt has been downgraded to junk status. And by virtue of that fact, their financing costs have gone up. But what is surprising is that Noble continues to be able to borrow at about 2.25% according to the recent media reports. If that is the case, Noble is completely financeable despite the change in its status and its shift from an asset heavy to an asset light model will in fact improve its ability to raise money. Right, um, the, uh, the 200 plus basis points uh, that they're able to finance at according to those reports on this uh, on these revolving credit facilities, put in perspective for us, Nagudin, 225 basis points in this environment, is that actually, is that still good? I mean, it sounds on the surface like a cheap loan, it, but, but what does it compare to, you know, credit worthy, you know, double A, triple A rated bo uh, borrowers in this space? Well, a triple A rated borrower may be able to borrow at below 1% or slightly above that. Uh, hence, the uh, cost of financing this debt is probably higher than what the company would have had in a different environment. However, we see a great opportunity because this company is completely financeable and has the ability to raise money despite the very adverse conditions. So, uh, what do you advocate? What are you saying right now, Nagurin? That the, the, you know, bet the ranch on the company, on the equity, for uh, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe accumulate, but don't do it all at once. Uh, what do you? What do you? What do you? What do you? What, what are you suggesting? And what is your interest in this, by the way? I mean, I'm assuming you have some sort of an interest that you buy on behalf of your clients, you hold it personally or, or something. You can't just be in love with it agnostically. We are looking at this from a completely independent perspective. We do not have a vested interest in this regard. Uh -huh. Okay, but so, uh, 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 so, so what, what, what are you saying then? You, you're, you're saying it's a great buy? You're saying on a PB basis, on a price to sales basis, a PER basis? It's a stream buyer. Do you put them all together? Do you use more? You must use more than one metric, right? Well, it's a great opportunity to buy a commodity trader at a steep discount to its book value, both on a historic basis and a comparative basis. Uh, commodity traders like Noble are the lubricants in the commodity world. They provide the service that DHL and FedEx play in the real world. Ah. It's a commodity ah. trader can generate returns across the cycle despite the difficulties this company has faced in the recent past we see an earnings turnaround we see a company that is going to generate significant cash flow generation and we see a company as i mentioned earlier at a huge discount to its book value right great stuff all they need is those sharp uh, bright yellow and red uniforms and they've got it made they're doing great talking to you okay have a great weekend thank Turn you off, going down to the opens in tokyo and seoul